Chapter 5 Patterns Let's try a number pattern. Hmm, so what do we see here? There's 40, 44, 48. What do you think is the pattern here? After 40, we have a 44. After 44, we have a 48, which means it's a pattern of every fourth number. So what do you think? After 48, we should have a 52. And then if you add 4 to that, you'd get 56. And then another 4, 60. Another 4, 64. And another 4, 68. Here's another one. This is so simple, isn't it? As soon as you see it, you can say what the pattern is. You got it, right? It's a sequence of tens. So if you see after 20, if you add 10, you get 30. So after 30, if you add 10, what do you have? That's right, 40. Another 10, you get 50. Another 10, 60. Another 10, and you get 70. Another 10, and you already have here an 80. Another 10, and you have a 90. So how about a last one? Hmm, this one looks a little tricky. Well, it's not, really. It's really easy if you observe the pattern carefully. It's a sequence of alphabets. First, we have an A and a B. Now, notice the A here is in uppercase, and the B is in lowercase. Next, we have C and D, whereas C is in uppercase and D is in lowercase. Now, the next one is E, which is in uppercase, F, which is in lowercase. EF is also in the same pattern. So what do you think the next one should be? If you guessed G, that's right, G in uppercase, and H in lowercase. So where G is in uppercase and H is in lowercase, and then we should have I in uppercase and J in lowercase. Let's try to finish this. We'll have K in uppercase and L in lowercase. Then we have M in uppercase, N in lowercase, O in uppercase, and P in lowercase. Wow, wasn't that a good one? I had fun doing that. I hope you did. Now, let's try an example on what skip counting is. Miss Pussycat leaps on every second tile. So we've got the tile numbers in these circles. So she starts from two. She leaps to the next one, that's four. She jumps again to the next one, which is six. And the next one, eight. Leaps again, another two, and you get 10. And again, 12. And again, 14. And the last one, 16. Now our froggy friend over here takes really big, huge, giant leaps. He leaps on every seventh tile. Let's just fill in some of the numbers here. The first tile is 14, and the third tile is 28. So can you complete the numbers on the tile? We know the first one is 14, and we know that he leaps seven tiles. So the next one, 14 plus seven equals 21. And then you've got the next one already here, which is 21 plus seven, 28. And the next one, 28 plus seven would be 35. And then again, 35 plus seven would be 42. And he leaps on to the next one, which would be 49. And the next one, that would be 56. And the last one, 56 plus seven would be 63. I hope you've understood what patterns are now. Well, here's an activity for you. Collect flower petals maybe in your garden and try to make different patterns on your own. Or you could collect anything else you'd like. Well, have fun. See ya. Bye-bye.